Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing Vintage Cube once again. I think this is the third one. We 3 0 last time around with Mono Red. We're doing it again on stream. The link's gonna be down in the description if you'd like to join us for next time. I'm trying to do daily streams, but I'm extremely inconsistent. Either way, we need one more play and then we can get started. I've been in the queue for just over two minutes. Not that long. No face cam again because it's 4 a.m. As you can see, I have my sleep schedule just has ceased to exist. Oh, okay, we get in the draft. Uh, let me make sure everything is fine here. It is. Cool. So, what do we have here? This pack does not look good, does it? Tinker looks interesting. You can do funky stuff. Solemn is whatever. I don't want to first pick a solemn. I'm going to just put this. Mm, I do like the idea of a signet, though. Totsies is mm, what, like. N uh, none of these cards look like a first pick. If that makes sense. Like. I wouldn't mind having a solo in my deck, I wouldn't mind having Totsies in my deck, I wouldn't mind having Trinket Maze already, Elspeth, Blade Spicer in a specific deck. Same for the Shaman, the land. I mean, if that was a fetch, that would make it easier. Okay, I think we take the Signet that leaves us open to everything. Who's on our table? Is there anyone that we know? I like Dolphins. Ooh, Kenny the Pig. I've, ooh. Yeah, that guy is good at magic. I usually see him vibing in hamstring <laughs> hamstring ham hamstring anyway uh we move that aside there's a volcanic island here there's a ruffalo's ruffalo's oh no uh there's a restoration so furic is also interesting i'm just gonna take the vo volcanic here just leave ourselves open like ruffalo's ruffalo's however you want to say it um Obviously a good card, but I don't think I want to go mono green. I could be wrong. Sour is nice, not an early pick. I think I just take the volcanic. Mo Drifter, two more signets, and not much else. I think I'll just take the signet. I'll take the. Mm, am I more likely to be Esper or? I mean, I don't think it really matters honestly. I think I like the one that's green. Mm, I like the one that's black as well. I like both of them. I don't really care about anything else. I'm gonna take the Mia Signet. Yes. Is that the right pick? Probably not. But, I mean, three picks in, we are very much open. I mean, we're probably not gonna end up in some aggressive deck, but that's okay. Do like Golos. Some interesting red cards, the guy's cradle would be fantastic if I took the Ruffalos, same with Elvish Mystic there. Little Force Tricks nice, same with Factor Fiction. But I think I'm gonna take the uh, the Golos here. And let me see if I'm gonna one, two, three, four, five. Windstop Heath is interesting, there's a Teferi that's interesting, there's a brainstorm. I think I'm just gonna take the Heath and stay open for for, for longer. I don't really care about. I'm gonna be drafting such a weird deck. I'm probably gonna 0 and 2, 0 and 3 this draft. I should just go for something linear. Why am I? Why am I doing this? Uh, okay. There's a Eternal Witness. There's a Shriek Maw image. I don't. Really, I don't really care about any of these. Pa why are these packs so m mediocre? Nothing about these packs are good right now. No, the packs we've seen this has been like a this is a good card this is definitely the card you should be taking this is the line you should be going down on oh i don't really caracas is nice of golos i guess you would could be interesting but i i don't know eternal some titan why did i say eternal is it cultivate i think cultivate is where i want to be is it i don't know i don't know I like the idea of fast mana with uh, Golos. Code is not really fast mana per se, but it's again not much else in the pack. We'll take the cultivate for now. Ever since program, yeah, no, that's that ship has sailed. Scarab God is interesting. Dig through time is interesting. I wish I was on that right now. I'm gonna take the cliffs. Cliffs. Why does he keeps? Keeps. Chief Keef. I have no idea what I'm, I'm doing right now. This is terrible. Uh, 
I'm lost in the sauce, aren't I? I'm really lost in the sauce. I'll take the Ravenous Chupacabra. I will take the Rock Fall Veil. Okay, the packs really haven't been good though. Like, it's not only my fault. Like, I've been drafting terribly, but the packs have really just been bad as well. Shriek more. Like, this is just confusing. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, land is nice. We do have eight lands though, so you can't go wrong with eight lands. Only one fetch. And only one, two fetchables. Where is the other one? There is. I mean, one isn't fetchable just yet, but it will. It is fetchable with. Um corresponding fetch lamps. There's a ruby, that's nice. There's an oko, which would be nice. I really don't know what I'm doing still. So let's move this further here. Okay, we'll take the ruby. Take the ruby. Take the ruby. Oh, there's also fracture identity, that would be nice. Yeah, we'll just take the ruby though. I mean, we're never passing the ruby there. Okay, we have a lot of fast mana. So, we, I mean, a lot. We have three artifact mana. It's not that lot much, actually. We have a bunch of. We just have to find what are we even doing here. And then we go down that path. There's a Jace. But I don't really have the blue lands for it. What even are you? You're terrible. Plateau is fetchable, but why? Like. I don't want to be playing, like, ideally, I'm not playing these guys. I will put the Corsa. Mm, I don't really want Corsa either, though. Oh, the Thran Dynamo. We try to do big mana stuff, I guess. Would be nice. Yeah, let's go Thran Dynamo. This deck sucks. I, I'm regretting already everything I've, that led me to this point. Doesn't really animate. That could be a line we go down, but I, I don't know. Okay, I do like Crucible, I do like Urza, I do like the Temple, I do like the Sundering Titan. There's a Demonic too though as well, I think I'm just gonna take the Demonic. Yeah, I'll take the Demonic. I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. I think I'm gonna move these guys out for now. Move to the board. Uh, Colossus, there's a Sneak Attack. Okay, we're doing Sneak Attack stuff. Colossus, which would be nice to get back. There's a portal, which I wouldn't mind. There's a Celestial Colony that I might not mind. Sacred Foundry would be fantastic, but unlikely. Yeah. Okay, we're doing sneak attack stuff. Stuff, kind of. Not really, kind of. I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, Hydra Crisis is interesting if we're doing big mana. It doesn't go with the sneak attack, but like if we're going to have a lot of mana, it could be nice. Uh, other than that, there's the Mesca Worm, but not really. Parallax Wave, I don't understand that card that well. Um, yeah, we're gonna take the crosses here. Uh, Bayou is nice. Bayou is very nice, but we do have a tomb already. Else, um, doesn't do enough. Three Chrome, I'm gonna take the Bayou. Yes, I will. Mm, what do we got here? Sorry. Survival of the fittest could be interesting. Not really. I don't really have white lands yet, and I don't really have a reason to be white other than Golos, I guess. I mean, I do have a Caracas, and I do have a Zora Signet. I want to take the path because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, Mishra's Workshop is interesting. It would help us like play a turn 1 Signet, and then a turn 2 Golos, for example. Uh, Hangback Walker, Gideon is interesting. I'm gonna take the Mishra. I am lost in the sauce right now. I do like Dash and Rider though. Uh, yeah, it just is Dash and Rider over there. Dismember is just good. There's also the Abrade that's not bad either, but we'll take the Dismember because it'll be easier to cast. We'll take the Sundering Titan, even though the Temple Garden is interesting. I'll take the Temple Garden actually. I would love a fetch land. I don't want any of you. 
guess I'll take the riders for the board. I don't know. What am I doing? I don't know. This is 11 lands now. 12, so... I'm so far away from playables, aren't I? What do we have in our board? Tubes is good worth. How is our colors looking? Um, guess I'll take that. Uh, Elish Nor. I'll take the good as Lotus. And I don't know what you do, so you go straight to the board. Okay, so. Oh, this is so confusing. Yeah, this mana base is gonna give me a headache. Not only during the deck building portion, but also during the draft, the actual playing portion. Well, I'm all. I'm warm coin blue I can't speak okay I can't speak Ulamog is interesting same with form coil what else Assassin's Trophy if it comes back around underground sea if it comes back around Refract and Revoke if it comes back around I'll take the Ulamog here Kikijiki Emrakul yep that's Emrakul there's another Ulamog there's a Grizzle brand as well. I would love the Orzhov Signet as well. Silic sm uh, Slime I wouldn't get too upset about. Okay, that's fine. We follow that up, there's a Watery watery Grave. There's a Mere Battle Sphere. There's a Power World Kill. I think I'll take the Mere Battle Sphere. I think that's enough fatties as well. I don't know, I don't like this deck at all. That's terrible. Five, how many? This is 13, 32. So I need 8 more cards. Probably could, I could go away with 7 more cards. Uh, Gru Signet. Badlands is not bad, but um, no, not really what I want right now. Gru Signet. Wouldn't mind the Badlands. Wouldn't be too upset about balance, I guess. Maybe faithless looting as well is not bad. Okay, cool. gross signet there. Follow that up with a blood crypt, which I can't fetch. Uh, ran six. I only have one fetch. If I had more, that'll make it more enticing. Um, Oath of Druids is interesting actually, because I only have big creatures, and as the crasses, that would be the only bad one. I'll take the oath and think about it. I hate my deck. I hate everything my deck stands for. <laughs> I think if I get a match, I'll be happy with this deck at this point. <laughs> it's just 8 mana. I always thought it was 7 for some reason. We can, we can always cut the crasses, crasses if we need to, if it comes to it. I hate my deck. My deck is terrible. Please. Don't make me play it, I guess. Um, I mean, if you had more fetches, it would be at least, like, more enticing. I think the Recto Signet. I don't mind the Mind Slayer, but the Recto Signet works. I mean, just kind of is. What we're doing here, we're doing mana and then big stuff. Kind of. Not really. I don't know what we're doing. We'll take the Recto Signet either way. Um play four more lands or we need five more playables but between four and five more playables I don't really want to play the chupacabra if you can avoid it and I might not want to play the, sh the crisis as well crisis 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 I wouldn't want to play this card if possible ideally oh it's a mana I mean, we have a lot of green we have one two three red Mm, Heath unfortunately does not get red. Uh, we have three red there. We have the ruby that's red. We have the Rakdos and the Gru Signet as well. We've got a tiger that's fantastic. I do like the Selesnia, but the tiger is really good. Regrowth is interesting, but I'm not getting anything back from this pack. Am I? I'm getting one card back. Unlikely to get something that I would want, but the tiger was a blessing. So we're kind of jund with a little bit of blue potentially with Golos activation kinda I don't know I don't know I don't know anything 
Just send me home. I just oh. Uh, the Valk is interesting. Less of the Oaf. I think I'm just gonna take the Golgari Signet then. I'll definitely play that. Not 100% to play the Caracas. Definitely playing the Veil. Might not play this one. Kahif is 100% in. Same with these fellas. The Volcanic Island is not fantastic. Trophy works, I guess. Just as a removal spell. Can't go wrong with it. Collect Cleef. That unless you control. Unless you control two more other lands. Two or few other lands. It's a fast land, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, huh. Kiki's not great to bring in. Same with. I guess Tessigo is not terrible. I do. Eh, I don't really have a reason to. I guess I have a path, which I'm not 100% to play. Nah, I don't think I want the Razor Verge. But Tessigo is so bad with the Oath. I think I'm gonna take the Razor Verge, whatever. Um, this is not. This is not it. This against a right that could be nice. Knight of Autumn. What does this do? I guess. Oh, Ren Six. Um, no. I think the Blood Chief is just gonna be a better card, I guess. This is a removal. Yeah. Mind Slayer. That's a good find. And a regrowth as well. Okay, this deck's tough. <laughs> <laughs> I made my mistakes. What even is this? Sort by color. Ugh. Sure, this is colorless. Same with all of you and you guys as well. Jeez, I have a lot of color stuff. I'm gonna put the lens in the board for now and you as well. So, okay, so we're actually gonna need well, yeah, probably make one cut here. So, by mana value, I was looking for converting mana cost, but that's not a thing anymore. Where are my other stuff? There you are. I think I'm gonna cut the cresses. Because I have six creatures, which are going to be these ones, and they work very well for for druids. Crassus doesn't, so I think that this could be the deck. Is it good? Probably not. Is it okay? Probably not either. But yeah, I don't know about this card. As long as you isn't on the battlefield, so I want to sell a type. It doesn't matter. So I can plus one to create a token, which won't do much. I can suck. Mm, this was really not good for this deck, is it? Hmm. I might just have to play the, play the Crassus then. I mean, I would just have to hope to not hit it with Oath of Druids, which is a 1 in 6 chance, and then the other games I can just cost it. I might not have the mana for Cultivate as well, which we're gonna have to see now. Uh, so let's start, let's do sort by, sort by color. Okay, this is fine. We're gonna move this over here. Cool. So uh, this is going to be a headache, so Heath for a white card, so that's going to be the Temple Garden and the Razor Verge, because it also has green that I like. Not going to play the Karakas, I don't think. I could bounce whatever I got back and play it again. Okay, Karakas is a maybe. Karakas is a maybe. By you, a hundred percent playing by you because it's fetchable. Who else do we have? Overgrown tomb as well. A mox ruby is also definitely going in. This I'm unsure, probably not. I definitely love the tiger. Volcanic island is interesting. I do like the Mishra's workshop because we have a lot of artifacts. What colors do our artifacts add? That's the question. Blue and white. Okay, are these the ones? These are the ones. We also have a Gilded Lotus, I guess. Sure. So a Gilded Lotus and I guess a Golas as well. Mm. I do like the Cleave Cliffs for sure. 
I do like the hissing quagmire as well. Not a hundred percent, but kind of. Uh, rock fall veil is interesting. Uh, this would get. I guess this is fine. This is fine. Red veil as well. Then we have the ruby. The marsh. Do we play the marsh? Don't really want to play the marsh. Let me sort this by CMC real quick and put all of you together here in the end and you over here. Wait, this is an easier to do. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay. Green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sources. That seems fantastic. And then we have a few black cards as well, which we have right now we have one, two, three, four, five sources. Let's make it six with that. Uh, we probably want to run a swamp, maybe. White sources, we have one, two, three. There's also the signets, it's worth noting. How many of them are white? Only one. That's okay, that's okay. It's only for the path. And then we have the red, which are going to have one, two, three, four, five five sources as well as a Gru and a Rakdos Signet in which case I am going to add a swamp can we not we can't do that anymore we used to be able to and a swamp and a, and a forest for sure a swamp and a forest for sure we probably want to add one more basic because of the cultivate that basic being a mountain how many blue sources do I have? I have two as well as three, four, five, six. If you want to, I want to add a Caracas. Whatever. I hate the stack. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the stack so much. I hate the stack with my life. This deck is terrible. Oh my god! What was I thinking? What have I done? Holy crap! Is this deck bad? What have I done? This is a monstrosity. That's not even the best way to describe it. It's even worse than a monstrosity. Well, I hope you got one win. <laughs> um, game win, not even a match win, honestly. Not gonna lie, this deck is probably one of the worst things I've ever done. Why didn't I just go boring and go like blue white control, white winnie, mono red, or I don't know, any like mono green, whatever. It's just like. I don't wanna say dumb down, but like just easier to draft. Easier to play, easier to construct, because this is confusing and not good. If it was confusing and good, that's fine, that would be fantastic, but this is confusing and not good. Hopefully we play against someone that is having the worst day of their lives and just getting um, destroyed by the shuffle or something along those lines, that would be fantastic. I really need to edit some of these stuff. so freaking hot in my room right now and that's not because you're here that was kind of weird I'm sorry there we go we got our opponent please be someone that's having the worst day magic related I'm not I don't hope they have an actual bad day in their lives. Uh, I'm a I'm a bad person, but I'm not that terrible. Hippie GB? <laughs> Can we do better than this? Probably not. Um, I can't cast my oath. I can't cast the Ashen Rider, but I can play a turn three Golos and I have a dismember, which it's not necessarily good if they're playing like any combo deck or even if they're like. Uh, aggressive red, aggressive red, mono red aggro rather. But if we hit a signet next turn, that's okay. <laughs> Nothing is good. Ooh, okay. Play creature? That's good. Okay, cool. At least my dismember is not that. That's good to know. Okay, cool. Uh, kill. Pay. 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 Okay, 
Untapperino. Nah, that's unfortunate. Do I play? Do I even play it? Because I want to slam the goalies next turn. I guess I don't even play it. Because they might not have a creature and then I can't slam my Golos, potentially, because they could have like Crater Hoofs in the deck and things like that. Please don't be a rough fellows. Okay, that's not a rough fellows. That's okay. Cool. Uh, Mishra. Okay, Gru Signet. You're a bit late to the party. Golos. Can we just. Okay. I had a 5 mana. You chose not to use it and rather ask me what mana I want to use it for. Okay. Uh, yes, I like to, uh, to do it. Um. Caracas is interesting, right? Because I can bounce the Golos and do it again, and do it again, and do it again, and do it again, which is not great, but we're doing that. Then I can just keep bouncing my Golos. Obviously, I can get Rex Aged right now. If I don't, I have that alternative for future endeavors, which wouldn't be terrible. I can then play my Wolf of Druids as well. I can play that. How much mana do I actually have? I only have an actual 3 mana. Because this is only to cost artifact spells, not to activate artifact spells. My goal is can't even attack. I hate this deck with a passion. Okay, we're playing this mono green. <laughs> we barely have a board as well because we've dropped so many lands. Uh, I might bring in like the Shriek more and the Troops. No, nah, because I have the Oath and I don't want it to be dead. Yeah, no, we're just not bringing anything in. I mean, obviously, we, are, we still have to see what they actually be playing on top of mono green. Someone replied to my comment on Reddit. I would open on stream, but I say dumb stuff. I mean, I'm, say dumb stuff is on a freaking FIFA Reddit. Like, how dumb can I actually be? Okay. Oracle is scary. Fast bomb is scary with the Oracle. I'm probably just going to slam this over Druids then, huh? Play the Signet, play the Oath. Is there anything else? There's a Regrowth. Okay, we're actually doing that then. Okay, we're gonna tap that. We're gonna get a grow Signet into play. Wait, do I have the mana to do everything I want? To... Yes, I do. And if I'm not stupid, I can do it. So... Regrowth my Dismember. Cool. Kill that thing. Uh, I am stupid. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. I didn't leave green open. Oh, I hate myself so much. Oh, I got myself to blame. Okay, wait. Then, in that case, we just go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. In that case, I'm gonna save some life. And I'm gonna leave the Caracas activation open since I messed up. Like I told you guys, I'm not good at magic. I make mistakes. It's 4 a.m. I don't know how to play Vintage Cube. So yeah, I'm like, when I'm playing, um, what should I call it? When I'm playing, um, Frick. What's the name of the thing? Uh, Historic Brawl. Like, I'm already likely to make mistakes. Oh, that's not good for us. I'm already likely to make mistakes because, like, like I said, I am stupid. Now I'm playing a format that I play even less so, so even more likely to make mistakes. They can't attack, which is... Ooh, that's scary. What do you, what do you think? Okay, go stay, man. One, two, three, four, five. I'm still, like, a lot of men away. I guess I'm not that far away from Golo's activation. Huh? Okay, we're gonna attack the Nissa, we're gonna bounce the Golos, and then I'm gonna replay the Golos. Right? This, five, Golos, Oath of Druids, cool, we can do it all. We know they have a fast bonding hand, but we don't know the other card and whatever's coming from the top of the deck. Um, I'm gonna try to make less mistakes from this point onwards. Uh, no promises. They could just slam, like, give away the wall of roots, which I don't think it's impossible for them to do. Are you gonna do it? Okay, they did it. Okay, makes sense. Cool. So now we're gonna send it back to my hand. Gonna 
gonna pay with this. I'm just making, trying to make as sure as as I'm trying to be as sure as possible. I don't mess up anymore. That's why I'm taking a little bit longer to make, um, like pay for mana and things like that. Um, the hissing? No, I need blue. Cause there's white, blue, black, white, black, red. Okay, cool. So we need blue. So we're gonna take the shipwreck marsh. Yes, because I do need my second black as well. Yeah, Shipwreck Marsh fits perfectly. And then we're going to play this fellow out. Go ahead. My deck is extremely confused. So this basically means they can't activate the Nissa kind of. Because if they do, they're going to have two creatures and then the Oath is going to trigger. Um, and then, wait, it's the beginning of each player's upkeep. Okay, cool. So it chooses a player with more creatures than they do. We have the same amount of creatures, so they're not gonna go trigger. Cause like they're gonna have a bunch of uh, mana dorks, so like Oof is not that scary. Oh god, what do you have? Chris okay that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, only seven. How much are you? Is, are you eight mana to activate? You're seven, that's fantastic. Okay, so you chose to activate it. No, you just plots it without making it a creature. That's interesting, that's smart. I still know they have a fast bonding hand. I'm not playing the Ashen Rider. I'm probably just activating my Golos here. That's really good. That makes me want to just kill the Nessa. I wish I could play the Ashen Rider, but I can't. Wait, I don't have enough mana, do I? I count uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, I do have enough mana. Uh, white, black, anything, anything? Not exactly what I wanted to see, but it's not terrible. Cost. Cost. I'm gonna kill the Nissa here. Black. Add three. I mean, it doesn't matter how I pay for it. Kill the Nissa. Opponent's probably so confused because my deck is confusing, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> my deck's terrible. If they had a normal draw, I'll probably get my ass handed to me. But yeah, we're probably gonna take this game one in at this point. Um, wait, which one I'm not supposed to vote for? If Connor gets more vote, if homage, okay, I have to vote. Vote homage. Vote homage. Vote homage. Vote homage. 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 Is it French? I don't know. Uh, homage. You get an extra card. I still know they have um fast bonding hand. I'll eat your creature if you attack with it. Cool. Okay, ooh, I was not expecting a swamp. Are you giving me a trigger? With over druids for free, for no reason. Just to play a lot more elves out. Did you just My brain confusey? Uh, two star player who controls more creatures than. Okay. The beginning of each the player chooses target. Wait, can I read this? The beginning of each player's upkeep, the player chooses target player who controls more creatures than they do, and it, and is their opponent. Can I? I, I chose them. I, I, okay, I I was pretty sure I clicked on it, but it didn't work, so I wasn't sure if I misread. Yes, I like to use it. Uh, that's an Ulamog. Cool. Um, thanks. <laughs> Me, Battlesphere, Mox, Ruby, and a forest. Cool. Okay, that was good. There's a Shriek Maw is interesting here, but I... Mm. This is not terrible. Against them. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, this is actually terrible with Overdrawers. Never mind. I think we're just gonna... The Thunder Maw does one damage to each creature for without... With flying. Okay, never mind. We need the money. Okay, cool. That doesn't work how I thought it would. We're just gonna keep the deck the same way. And so did they, apparently. Uh, no possible play yield all. 
This hand is fine, I guess. We get to go turn 2, Rakdos Signet into a turn 3 Dynamo, and then turn 4. I mean, obviously we're playing against Mono Green, so it's not fantastic, but I mean, it is what we have, so... We take it, I guess. Are you playing a 1-drop on turn 1, opponent, or are you passing the turn? Those are your two options. Let's just wait and find out. Um, <laughs> okay, that was a difficult decision to be fair. Uh, yeah, we just pass it then. I mean, sometimes it is difficult to choose whether or not you should cast your one drop mana dock on turn one when you're on the play. It's a very difficult decision. I've definitely um, had to make the decision a few times. I wouldn't wish I've um, on my worst enemies. That's scary. Okay, I guess if you had Hex Drink, you actually have a... Nah, I still don't think you have a decision there. I still think you just go for that. Okay, that's scary. Yeah. I don't have many ways to get rid of it. Yeah, we're probably going to lose this game. But, we're going to go out fighting either way. I have a path, I have a dis- no, I can't use this member path, I can only use Blood Chief's Thirst on it, what are you doing? You have a Nissa. I mean, oh, of course a portal, that's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but it is what we have to deal with now. We go Dynamo next turn, it'd be great if I drew... I don't know. I don't have a blue for this, I just realized that now. My hand is actually just terrible. <laughs> it looked better at first, but this doesn't get blue, does it? I can't block because I don't have any creatures. But thank you for asking, Magical Mind. I do appreciate that. This is terrible, man. Play the mountain just to conserve our life a little bit, if possible. Friend Dynamo. Pass the turn. Actually, I should have played a white. Mm, no, it doesn't really matter. Mm, no, it doesn't matter because uh, I mean, we're getting closer. I have. I'm gonna vote Carnage if they want to. I'm okay with Carnage here. I mean, obviously, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they vote Homage, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, this is not looking good. Game three? I mean, I'm gonna play it out, but. Um, I don't really know what I can get from this point onwards. That would be good. Uh, I have seven, eight mana next turn. Can't cost anything. <laughs> 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 ah, I hate everything. Four mana. Are you just slamming it all into Hex Drinker? No. Is it a Nissa? It's a uh, Gorgoroth. Gorgoroth's fine. I mean, it's not, but you know. What can I do? <laughs> Take two, go to 16. Can we please draw something good here? Land. Hmm, Battle Sphere. I was expecting a land. Um, yeah, we're just gonna slam the Battle Sphere. We have Battle Sphere here. We're gonna play the Cliffs tapped, I guess. So now they don't have good attacks with Gargaroth, nor the Hex Drinker. The good thing about being on this side of the portal is that I don't have a decision <laughs> to make. They just vote if they vote homage, that's it. It's homage. But if they vote carnage, I mean since it says homage, right? It's either homage and carnage or homage and carnage, right? You can't be homage and carnage. It just doesn't make sense. It has to be homage carnage. I should really go to sleep, shouldn't I? This was probably one of our best draws, huh? What would be a good draw now? A blue source to slam the crasses would be nice. Uh, I wouldn't be against a removal spell to kill the Hex Drink and to kill the Gargaroth using the regrowth. I wouldn't be against... Um, I don't remember that. We should probably screenshot our deck, huh? Well, this is for next game. I'll just put it down here so I don't forget. Why, why can't I make... Okay, I can't make it small. Okay, just vibe here. Sniping 2, just vibe. No, sniping 2. What did I just tell you? Just vibe. Come on, man. That's not the vibes. That's a TikTok, right? I don't know. 
It's so freaking hot in my room right now. Oh, hey, the sun is shining. shining. Oh, the sun is shining. The sun is rising, rather. You're attacked with that. You're attacked with that. And you chose to create a creature. Confused I am. Still blocking, though. Because I can buy it back with... Um, I can buy it back with... Is there a reason to block with more? I mean, in case, I mean, in case they have, like, Fatal Push. Yeah. In case they have a Fatal Push. I guess this is why I would do this. Because Fatal Push can't kill my Battle Sphere. But he would be able to kill a token, and then my, I wouldn't be able to kill it. So, yeah. This makes most sense. Okay, they, uh, this is fine. I, I lose an extra token. That's okay. We'll have a blue source. I wish I had a fetchable blue source right now. That'd be fantastic. Snipping tool. Is it snipping or is it sniping? It's snipping, right? Because it's double P. They have five mana to put into the Hex Rinker if they choose to do that. I don't know what this card actually does. Yeah, they're going to send me to that. Cool. Okay, so Hex Rinker is going to get scary. Unless I can kill it right now with a Blood Chief's Thirst. Gilded Lotus is nice. Um, I'm gonna fetch something, honestly. I just fetch a white source of some kind. There's a temple garden. Yeah, cool. We'll take the temple. Green, green, doesn't matter, honestly. Blue. So this is for five. That's a dismember, which I can't kill it anymore because that's protection from instance, unfortunately. In which case, I think I'm gonna attack with the mid battle sphere then. If they wanna double block it, I'll take it. I will tap my mid token. This is them for six. I mean, it's extremely unlikely they block, right? Like, there's a zero percent chance they block, right? Okay, cool. I mean, there was a maybe like I don't know. I don't think there was really a chance that they blocked. Uh, are they gonna play homage or carnage? Let's see. Homage or carnage, my friend. Homage or carnage. Carnage. I don't like that. Homage. I think I can win. Especially if I draw something meaningful before turn 10,000. Um, Caracas, unfortunately, neither one of these are. Okay, they're gonna put the two more counters into the Hex Drinker. Can't do anything about it because that's protection from instance. Only this was the Blood Chief's Thirst, if only. At least the attacks are, I mean, they can only attack with it, I guess. Nothing else. I guess I shouldn't, I didn't need to take 3 damage from this. I could be at 18 right now, if I wasn't stupid. I just play the Karakas instead. Emrako, wait, can I cost 3? Five, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I can't even cost him Raku just yet, huh? What is this? Eureka. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's a course, so that's okay. This is very brave from them. This is very, very brave from them. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, this just makes me less likely to win. Oh, I don't know what I can. I need to draw now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sit back next turn. I can't attack. 
And this is six six, so I can't even kill it with my um with my dismember. We can play a land, I'm pretty sure, right? They don't they haven't played a land, I think. So this takes me down to nine. Like this is very scary. Please deck, please bless me deck, please bless me deck. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't what I had in mind, but I appreciate the sense of humor. I can appreciate the sense of humor. Okay, we're gonna have one more draw step basically to get through this to get the emerald. Uh, choose a card from the other tab. Okay, cool. Let's play that. Wait, can I dismember and then dismember again? Cause I block here. I block here, I block here, it takes 8, 10, 11. So I actually need to kill two creatures, huh? And I wasted a lot of colored mana on that, huh? So I made a mistake yet again, huh? I can dismember this. I can't cast it again. I made so many mistakes this game. Uh, I'm just gonna pass the turn and see what they do. Give a chance for error. It's basically what I'm trying to do here. Does it have any triggers when it attacks? No, it does not. Carnage? Carnage. Fast bond. Ooh, that's a con. That's scary. Okay. That's fine. Mm, Emrako is not lethal anymore. Actually, it is because of the Crassus. Actually, it's not because of the Gilda Goose. Actually, it is because of this member. Okay, cool. I just have to survive this turn, is basically what I'm trying to get at. Well, I have to survive survive and draw something insane, but surviving is the first step. If there isn't anything here, that'll be good. Cool. I know they have a fast bond, and I don't know the other card, but I don't think it really matters. Uh, are they going to swing out? Them choosing not to swing up is good for us. Why would you attack with the beast token? Okay, you're swinging out. So are you swinging out? You might as well send a land wilds at this point. Okay, so this isn't. Is this lethal? Block. 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 That will be 10, but I have to dismember, so it's not. Does this have trample? It does not. So in that case, we're gonna eat the Corsair. We're gonna jump here because we want to redraw. Nah, no, that doesn't do anything for me. We wanna do that. And then we wanna jump here. Cool. And we're gonna dismember one of the tokens. And if you had attack with the Leno else, which you had no real reason to leave it back, you would have won the game at this turn. And now you have a very tiny chance of losing. I mean, a 1 in 22 chance of losing the game. I, is it gonna happen? Probably not. But, you know. Why would you cast a fast point, Don? Do you really have. Okay, you're making a food token. What are you doing? Are you sacking the food token now? What is this? What? Hang a backwalker for one. I am so confused about some decisions. I don't know if I have enough mana. I'm gonna wait. Let's count. Six, nine, eleven. 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16. I'm one mana short? Is this really it? I'm one mana short from doing this. I'm, I think I'm actually one mana short from doing this. I'm actually one mana short. You're joking. <gasps> I can Mind Slayer. 
Wait, yeah, my to lose 10 mana, they'll give me an extra turn. We're gonna mine to live. <laughs> um, sure. Cool. So we go. I mean, it doesn't matter what we go here. We just have to cast a mine slayer. Mm hmm. I might actually win this game. Uh, aim at you. I left no black mana. Why am I so bad at magic? I play too fast. I play too loose. Oh god, I, I could have the win, but I play too fast. Do I take the Mind Slayer then? Because I messed up. I will take the Mind Slayer then. Why am I so bad at magic? Can someone tell me? I play too fast and afford to bl leave black mana up. Okay, sure, that doesn't change anything. I can attack them for five. I don't think it changes. Yeah, that doesn't change anything. I actually want to eat some of the creatures. Cool, we're just going to take that turn. Can I vote for them? Carnage, that leaves me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana to work with. Carnage. Carnage. Oh god, it gives them a token. Why am I so bad at magic? Wait. Please. Yeah, I'm making a lot of mistakes. I'm just very confused. There's too many things happening at this point for me. Cool. Exile target permanent. I can exile the Thokta token, I guess. I can play this and exile the Thokta token, or I can exile itself. But then I'm forced to draw something. Because I'm bad at magic. Okay, so we're definitely playing the con. Now it's a matter of what we're doing with the con. Are we killing the token or are we killing the con itself? We're killing the token. Uh, I'm taking my turn then. It's so confusing because I have to take actions for both players. I've never activated Mind Slayer before. Assassin's Trophy is perfect. Three, six, okay, cool, so I can do both. Make sure to leave black and green, make sure to leave black and green, cool. This is a new game. I made a lot of mistakes and I somehow still in this game. And I made a lot of mistakes. I didn't make a few mistakes, I made a lot of mistakes. And we still have a chance. Very tiny, but still a chance. What do they draw? Please don't be a Nissa, I'll be so annoyed if this is a Nissa. There's a Nissa on top of the deck. Dude, piss off. Yeah, I think I lose now. I made way too many mistakes. I made way too many mistakes to... I don't deserve like to even win this game because of the amount of mistakes I made. I mean, I'm obviously taking that turn, but that's not really going to do much for me. I don't really have mana to do much anyway. So take your turn. And then we'll probably just pass the turn. Yeah, we're just gonna tap you out. Yep, I just have to lose. I made way too many mistakes. Oh, why am I so bad at magic, dude? I had to win like twice and I messed up. To be fair, I shouldn't even have been in the game because they also messed up by not attacking the land or else, but I made way too many mistakes as well. Oh, I really need to get better at magic, huh? Could have won the game. Could have won the game at a few different points, but I made too many mistakes. Can we just like actually show all my cards? Okay, cool. Let's try to make less mistakes. Oh, this is so close, but not yet. 
Yeah, this game. I mean, frick's sake, dude. Why is Emrakul stuck to my hand? Yeah, this is game. I'm playing 17, 16 lands, and with a mox. I only have one Emrakul, both. In, in the world, it was in two of my hands. That sucks. Well, I threw this through this match, and they have the Tomo Leno Elf. Sure, good on you, but good on you. Can I please draw a land at least? Like, help me out. Thank you. Uh, uh we'll fetch the black black Bayou here. Get a tiger? No, not a tiger. There's no reason to get a tiger. We'll play the Demir Signet. I know I'm gonna leave them the land or else, which could be a mistake, but. I think we just have to do this. I'm really annoyed at myself. I made way too many mistakes. I should have won the last game. Ruffalos will kill that. Please give me a land. That would be fantastic. I can play the Thran and the Dismantle at the same turn. Take one and go to 18. No, not taking one. Interesting. Puff was not what I was hoping to see. I, I added the mana to use it. Thanks. I mean, this this is an okay hand. As, as I don't know. We're probably just gonna try to survive as long as we can and hope to get lucky. What is this? Cultivate? Of course. Uh, they have a land anyway. That's so annoying. Please help me out here. That's really annoying as well. Oh, we just passed the turn, I guess. Why is it on tap? Wait, 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 wait. Why is it on tap? Why is it on tap? I'm... Okay, I'm just gonna concede. I'm making way too many mistakes. I thought that was a fast land. It's not. Okay, I, I don't deserve to have a chance at the game. Like, I should have just lost ages ago. Okay, let's take a screenshot and let's... Um, uh, concentrate a bit more. I'm making way too many mistakes. Way too many mistakes, dude. Way too many mistakes. Dude, that's really annoying. Why am I so bad at magic? I wish I was good sometimes. Sometimes, not all the time. Like, it's, it can be t entertaining to be bad at magic. But I'm being way too bad at this point. Cool. Let's try again. Let's try to salvage a 2-1. Two, 2-1. One, two, one. And let's try to make less mistakes. If possible, you know. Really annoyed at myself with the mistakes. I feel like if I... Did the regrowth correctly and took the demonic tutor with enough mana to cast the demonic tutor? Would I be able to get the Emrakul? Cast Emrakul on my turn after taking that turn, tech for 20 and win the game. But I messed up. So, yeah. Maybe I should have paid homage instead as well, but I didn't. So, you know, just mistake upon mistake upon mistake. So, yeah. We won a game though. Oh, we have you in my deck? I even forgot I haven't seen you, like, ever. Cool, this is a keep. Okay, so this is a fast land, right? And this is better for tapped unless control two or fewer... Two of... And this is better for tapped unless... Okay, cool. Oh, it's two or fewer. That's why. Of all... Oh, I thought it... Oh, my God. I don't know. I made a mistake. I, I misread. I misunderstood the, the land. What is this? Please don't be a Totsies. It is a thought seize, isn't it? Whoa, 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 relax, 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 relax. Mm. Why did they choose to go for the Lotus Battle on, on turn one? That makes me think they're not Storm. Monastery Mantle. Okay, I can just kill that. That's actually really good. The question is, do I go Dismember or do I go Blood Chief's Thirst? I think I want to go Blood Chief's Thirst. So... Actually, I can't go Blood Chief's Thirst. I can only go Dismember. So... So that helped. Um... What is... Do I get a Bayou here? Tiger, I already have two black so red sources. I 
I think Tiger might be better just in case they have one artifact removal. So they're gonna go for Tiger. So in that case, I'll have to play a little bit of life. Wait, what? Oh, okay, never mind. I'm supposed to play the creature first. And then play life. Cool. Next turn, we go sneak attack Emrakul. And then he kind of rest. I can bounce it back with. No, I can't because I don't have enough mana. Let's make less. Oh no, don't have a counter spell. Why? I'm gonna pass the turn. Okay, they're just passing the turn as well. That's not good for us. Okay. Because, like, sneak attack is the only thing we got going for us, so I don't really want to run into a counter spell for no reason when we don't really need to just yet. Is it going to be a 5 minute Teferi, isn't it? Oh, it's just a creeping top dead activation. That's fine. It can't be count. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Sneak attack can be countered. God, I'm. I, okay, let's just slow down, go back to the start. My turn? My turn? My turn. Not yet, okay, cool. Okay, I can leave the Caracas up so I can bounce back the Emrakul to my hand. Cool. So, tap, 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 tap. Sneak attack. Activate sneak attack. Put the Emrakul into play. Move to combat. I think I've won the game. They lose all the lands. I bounce the Emrakul back to my hand and do it again next turn. That's GG. I think I've won. Think. Emphasis on the think. Okay, they, they, they're choosing stuff, so that's interesting. Kind of concerning that they went out of the way to choose stuff. Uh, end of turn. Okay. Okay, that worked out. Um, I don't have a cyborg really, so mm, actually, yeah, I should take off of druids out probably, and then bring in like the the shriek more, maybe. Mm, the sense is terrible. They mow to six. This hand is better, not good, but it's better. Let me send away the path. No possible play you law. Why do you wanna be in my hand so bad, me better so yeah? Twice now. Just leave me alone, me better so yeah. I don't like you. Is it gonna be a GTA? Jitte, no better score, that's fine. I mean, it's not, but. What can I do? Okay, cool. Now, the question is are we gonna play around a counter spell? Depends what they do, I guess. Uh, we're not. Maybe I should play around like a disenchant. I don't think there's a reason for me to play it here. Okay, they're just putting the battle score into play for now. Which is good, because this doesn't do much. <sighs> I guess this will get hit by the three mana thingy that votes. Which I haven't played yet, which is good for us. Okay, that's fine. I think we won. Uh, play the mountain. Activate. Mia Battle Sphere. Activate. Ulamog. Move to combat. They could have like a source to plowshares or path to exile. I can't do anything about that. 
they don't seem to have it just yet though so okay that was a good that was that was an easy match like yeah I mean it was easy because of how things lined up I will take it though one on one we'll put the we'll just keep the screenshot here I guess it's easy to see the whole deck right, move you here so I can see that move make you smaller there we go and then I can still see the chat okay so after messing up non-stop in the first match we do very well on the second one not saying I didn't make any mistakes on the second one I don't think I had enough time to make mistakes I think if you gave me a couple more turns I'll probably make a few more mistakes but yeah I'm not good at magic like I never I think if you watch my videos before I've said m multiple times at this point Okay, this is good. The first match took a long time. I was scared this video was going to be gigantic. It might still be, because we still have one more game, but yeah. yeah. If you watch my videos before, you know I say that I'm bad at magic, because I, I, I am below average. Um, I get to, I, I get at least too fast. Uh, I make stupid mistakes. I misread stuff. But yeah, so. We're playing against Sipomon. Sip my mom. <laughs> I, I hate myself. The mode is six. It's not a terrible hand. It's terrible. Okay, cool. We can, we can do better. This is worse. This is not better. Is it worse? Oh, we don't know what they're playing though. Imagine they're playing like a creature deck, and I get to play off of Druids on turn two. And we also, like, worst case scenario, we have two pieces of removal if we can't draw land. So I think I'll keep this. I'll keep this, not be happy about it, but I'll keep this. I think that's the best way to, to go about it. My stream is still up. Okay, cool. Just making sure everything's still going. Uh, I'll keep. I'll throw away the Ulamog. I almost clicked on the freaking Windswap Heath and throw it away. Just to show you the size of my tiny brain. This is probably fetching a Temple Garden. But we hold out to fetch, because um, we can... Okay, so what, wait, what can we fetch? We can fetch a bayou, a forest, tomb, and temple garden. Oh, there's a tiger as well. That's only for the sneak attack. Do any of my things... Yeah, no, I have a Bruce Signet, so I don't... Yeah, it's probably just is the temple garden then. Come on, step mom. Sorry, I mean step, step, step mom. On. Um, I, w I wish someone was here to laugh at my joke. Not that they would, but you know, like, you know, the pity laugh that you give people sometimes. Another removal spell that makes. doesn't really change what I'm gonna do. Oh, so this is unfortunate. This probably means they don't have many creatures. That's. Jesus. Yeah, this is terrible for me. Like, this kind of. yeah, means. Oh, dude, I really draw another segment. Couldn't got in any of my lands. I had to draw another segment. Just like any of my lands would have been fine. And they, okay, there we are, mate. That's good to know. Okay, go. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna concede. Dude, that's so frustrating. My first draw is tap with two signets in my hand. So remove and then follow up with another signet. That's really frustrating. I'm gonna take the Oath of Druids out. This doesn't kill it. The tubes kind of kill it. Is it between the tubes? I don't like the tubes though. I think the riders could be interesting. Get rid of a land, can hasty and kill something maybe. Okay, let's hope we get a bit of more luck this time around. See, now we have the lands, but we don't have um, any of my signets. Do I keep this? I don't know, I'm gonna keep it and just go 0-2 on this match, because um, I don't want to mow to 5 again for the 500th time on this league. Please give me a signet then, like you gave me last time around. <laughs> I hate this game with a passion. <laughs> You gave me an artifact mana thing. Could have been a signet. Nah, kill the lotus. 
Yeah, that's scary, but can't do anything about it anyway. Can you... Okay, I hate this game so much. Give me two artifact mana things. Neither one was signet, so... No possible play you at all. Why? What is the possible play I have here? Next turn I can Tran plus Avalanche Riders, I guess. We let the Avalanche Rider go. Doesn't help me at all. We'll play it though. So it's between the friend and the Gilded Lotus, and the Gilded Lotus is better ish. I mean, even though I can't do anything with it, it is better. Probably this for the forest. Yep, goodbye, forest. You served me well. Not really. Um, yeah. And now they leave up counter spells, I'm guessing. Oh, I hate magic sometimes. Uh, white, black, black. Wait, I don't have enough mana? No, I do. Cool. Oh, you have a counter spell? Seriously? Oh, it's a mana drain as well? I'm really not having a good time. That's all I'm gonna say. This is not fun right now. <laughs> Please don't have like a gigantic creature as well just to ruin my day even more. They do as well. Dude, can I catch a break for like two seconds in this match? Like for half a second can I catch a break? What else you got? Okay, dude, well done. Okay, so if you enjoyed the video, do leave a like and until next time. See ya.